In today's rapidly evolving battlefields, one machine is making headlines for how wars are fought. The Harup drone. Also known as a kamikaze drone, this loitering munition has shifted the balance in modern warfare. But how does it work? How much does it cost? And where has it been used? Stick around. This is a deep dive by Aviation Archives, your home for everything that dominates the skies and the battlefield. Before we begin, if you're passionate about defense tech, military power, and real-world war zone stories, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Aviation Archives for more powerful military insights every week. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, the Harop isn't just a drone, it's a hunter. Designed to hover over a battlefield for hours, it identifies its target, locks in, and then strikes, destroying itself in the process. This is why it's often referred to as a suicide or kamikaze drone. First revealed in the early 2000s, the Harop was built to eliminate high-value targets like radar stations, command centers, and mobile missile launchers, all without risking the life of a single pilot. It combines surveillance and attack in one deadly package, and today it's used by countries like Israel, India, Germany, South Korea, and Azerbaijan. Its operational range is over 1,000 kilometers, with a loiter time of nearly six hours, Powered by a pusher propeller engine and guided by electro-optical sensors, it can find targets, track them, and strike with a deadly 23 Kegel warhead. Now let's talk numbers. The cost of a single Harop drone varies between $700,000 to $1 million. While that may sound steep, it's far more affordable than deploying a fighter jet, and the accuracy, almost surgical. Let us know in the comments. Would you consider drones like Harop more cost-effective than traditional missiles? The Harop drone's combat capabilities were put to the test in real conflicts. In the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War, Azerbaijan used Harop drones to devastating effect. They successfully targeted Armenian tanks, radar systems, and artillery. Many of these strikes were caught on video and shared across international media shocking the world with their precision. India, too, has acquired Harop drones. These have been integrated into their arsenal for missions that require deep strikes without escalation. But interestingly, during rising tensions with Pakistan, there were reports that Pakistani defenses successfully jammed or downed attempted Harop deployments along the border, making Pakistan the only known country to intercept this feared weapon in a real conflict scenario. If true, it marks a major milestone in drone warfare defenses. From a technology standpoint, Harop has sparked intense discussions in military circles and the global press. Major defense news outlets have praised it as a game changer in loitering munitions. It's not just about dropping bombs anymore. It's about smart warfare, staying hidden, striking precisely, and minimizing risk. So, what gives Harop its edge? It's silent, accurate, and doesn't need to come back. This means it can stay hidden for hours until the exact moment to strike. That unpredictability makes it one of the most terrifying tools in the modern military arsenal. And the future? We're already seeing upgrades being tested, extended loiter times, AI-based target identification, and swarming technology. The battlefield of the future will be dominated not just by jets, but by drones like the Harop, watching from above, ready to strike. If you're still watching, drop a emoji in the comments so we know you're a true aviation and defense enthusiast. And tell us, should Aviation Archives explore more loitering munitions in future videos? For more deep dives into advanced war tech, legendary jets, and untold battlefield stories, Smash that like button and subscribe to Aviation Archives, where air power meets storytelling. Thanks for watching. This is Aviation Archives, signing off. Stay sharp, stay informed.